Right. Uh, hey, folks, it's Faz here from Faz Lifts. Uh, today, I'm going to be reacting to a TikToker who had a heart attack after dry scooping some pre-workout. Right. First of all, um, thanks for joining me on my challenge. Um, go ahead and like the video and also leave a comment or question of your own, and I will get back to you. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So I heard a phrase the other day, which was really good, and it was um, life um, can only be understood in reverse, but it has to be lived um, forward, right? So basically, that's, it's talking about how if we, we understand life better um, from the perspective of hindsight, right? <laughs> and we all have things that we regret, like, ah, shouldn't have had that last drink that night or should have asked that girl out or whatever, right? Should have, should have wrote down that answer for that examination. But a lot of us won't have this particular memory that this girl had, which was, ah, I probably shouldn't have dry scoop pre-workout resulting in a heart attack. Horrendous. Um, obviously, very serious matter. Wouldn't wish out on anyone. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and have a look at the story. So this is the young girl. Uh, here we go. Woman has shared her cautionary tale after taking a dry pre-workout scoop on TikTok, revealing that she ended up in hospital after suffering a heart attack. Now, for those of you who don't know um, what dry scooping is, so basically the idea is that you just take the dry powder, chug it down your throat, and then wash it down with water. So typically what you would normally do with a pre-workout is you put it into water, you dilute it, and you'd sip it over the course of maybe, I don't know, anywhere from a minute to five minutes, 10 minutes, right? Doing this, it just gets in all at once. <clears throat> So, uh, TikTok user Briatney posted a video recently which showed her lying in a bed wearing a hospital gown. She wrote, taking a dry pre-workout scoop because I saw it trending on TikTok, ending up in hospital because I had a heart attack. That's what her video was. Um, her video has racked up more than 2 million views, 300,000 likes and thousands of comments, including messages from some people who believe she made the whole thing up. Um, yeah, because the, the video that she posted is obviously not of her having a heart attack. I think that's kind of what some people think. It is just of her in the hospital bed afterwards. However, in a follow-up video, which showed her still lying in a hospital bed surrounded by equipment, Briatney wrote, I, I don't know why people think I'd cap about heart attack on this app. Uh, you're, you're annoying ASF. I'm just trying to help people not make the same mistake I did. This is really difficult to read, by the way, so bear with me at home. <laughs> uh, speaking to BuzzFeed about her ordeal, Briatney said she started to feel tingly and itchy all over her body after taking the pre-workout, adding that it wasn't a good feeling. She thought she Googled it. She thought it was a normal side effect, so she decided to go ahead and do a workout. Um, she felt like it was maybe an anxiety or a bad panic attack. Um, okay, her chest pain eventually eased, but then she started to feel nauseous and lightheaded, went home to shower. Um in the locker room of my job, I started to get hot, even though it was cold in there. I was sweating a lot, drenched, even though I was wearing a bikini. The pain went to my back and to my left arm and to my left arm went slightly limp. So I knew that then was a heart attack. Okay. So at a hospital, it was determined that she had suffered from a non-ST segment elevated myocardial infarction, a type of heart attack that's less damaging than an STEMI. Okay. Um, basically, doctor told to stay away from the caffeine and to watch what she takes, especially pre-workout, as this isn't regulated by the FDA. And they said it was okay for her to work out three or four days after the hospitalization and just to wear her Fitbit and check her heart rate on that. Okay. Taking such a large amount at once could certainly be detrimental to the body by increasing the heart rate and blood pressure acutely, adding that we often have no idea what in a pre-workout supplements. All right. So, yeah, interesting one there. Now, I think the whole, the, the firstly, we've got the, the TikTok trends tend to, are starting to become quite dangerous. There's quite a few now which have resulted in hospitalizations. This one here resulted almost in a death. And I think people have really got to be aware of what they're doing. I was scrolling through some other videos of people doing this trend. And there was one woman who temporarily stopped breathing. That can't be good. Um, so I think there's quite a lot of these where we've got to really question why people are doing stuff like this, whether they would have done it anyway. <laughs> and it's just people being people or whether it's something that they're doing specifically for views and likes and all that kind of stuff on TikTok just to kind of go viral, which she did. She accomplished that. Well done to her. Um, also, I think there's, there's another case to be made for why these companies, they typically 
list they say take like a quarter scoop or a half scoop just to assess your tolerance like she was only taking a scoop now typically that's not like a massive amount that's a fairly normal amount it's normally a serving size but she hadn't assessed the tolerance prior well she may not have assessed the tolerance prior to that we don't know but then so that's the first thing she didn't actually mention that um but the other big thing is it's taken all at once and it's not diluted and it seems to be a very harsh method perhaps there's something in the absorption through the um the lining of the esophagus, I don't know, not a doctor. Um, perhaps that could help the absorption and get it to her bloodstream faster, I don't know. Um, but either way, it seems to be a way of just getting it into your system really, really fast and all at once. And so you just have the acute reaction. The caffeine, which is commonly in these things, is quite an acute um, compound that it works very quickly. It's not something which builds up over time. It has a very immediate effect on your bloodstream. It gets absorbed, gets used, gets very quickly used. So with that comes increased heart rate and usually increased blood pressure. Both of things which are very conducive to having a good workout, right? That's why we take these things. Increased blood pressure um, and increased heart rate. It makes you feel up for the workout. And it also adds that sort of like intramuscular pressure that you need to generate forces in the gym, uh, which comes from the high increased blood pressure. So yeah, it's positive for the workouts, but then... In a situation like this, I think, yeah, the company's covered because they do say on the reverse, you know, assess your tolerance, check with the doctor before you use it. There's a reason why they do that, right? They, because no one really does. Like no one, no one who's, you know, like this girl was 20 years old or whatever she was, she was young. No one goes to check with their doctor and says, look, doc, can I take this wicked pre-workout that I bought? No one does that realistically. So the company's covered because they say, check with the health. Um, care professional before I assess your tolerance everyone skips that so the company can just come back with hey you know what um, we warned you <laughs> uh, but she's the one with a heart attack so uh, yeah not great um, we don't know the sort of lasting effects that would have on her quality of life whether that's actually damaged part of her heart I imagine it has I imagine that's what a heart attack does um, probably breaks down some of her heart tissue which I think that is the test they use to see if someone's had a heart attack to see if they have it's kind of like um, when you have a really sick uh, workout and you, you get some muscle breakdown and that's how they, so, and that increases various levels in the body. But I think it's the same with a heart attack. You have certain measures of cardiac muscle which break down into the blood tissue and that's what signifies that you've had a heart attack. So I imagine that's what she had. So yeah, it's a damn shame. Like she's going to have that for the rest of her life now. So yeah, be careful out there. <laughs> All right, folks, that was my uh, reaction. Hopefully you found that uh, informative and um yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. All right.